In this fourth video of this series, we are going to configure a custom login screen in the Spring Authorization Server. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Back in Eclipse, we can start the code right away. In the Palm XML file, we have a new dependency. Spring Boot Starter Time Leaf. The application YML has not changed. The biggest changes are in the Security Config class. In the first Security Filter chain bean, you will find the default configuration according to the Spring Authorization Server reference. You can find the link in the description of this video. The configuration of the custom login form can be found in the second security filter chain bean. Here you have permit all error. And form login login page permit all. Also important is the web security customizer. The rest of the code is unchanged. Then we have a standard controller with the login controller. A simple login HTML file with time leaf. A form with two input fields and a submit button. Finally, a simple style CSS file. To finish everything I created a Favicon ICO file. We can now start the Spring Authorization Server and test it with Insomnia. Once the Spring Authorization Server is up and running we can test the custom login page. If everything is entered correctly we can click on Fetch Tokens and we will see our login page. We can now log in with user and password. If all goes well we will get an access token as expected. ID token and a refresh token. This was it for today. In the next video we are going to bring everything together in a Spring OAuth 2 Client and Spring Cloud Gateway. Thanks for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.